hi everyone this video is about the file now whatever we have done till now whatever we have printed on screen in different program was kind of a temporary memory we close the program that thing printed on the screen is deleted is no is nowhere in the memory but with the help of a files we can uh, create the permanent storage of the data which we want to store like we can print the things in the file for permanent so in this video you will be learning that that files are the use of permanent storage it can open any type of files like dot txt dot doc dot dot docx microsoft file any kind of file how to open a file how to close a file and you will be learning about the different modes of a file first we'll cover the theory for the file modes then we will move to code the first mode for opening the file is r it opens an existing file for reading purpose it means that it cannot create a file and uh, when you open the file in this mode you cannot write into a file the next mode is w it opens a file for writing if the file does not exist then the new file will be created and if the file is existed it remove all the contents of the files and brings the cursor to the first position and brings the cursor to the to the first position in the file the next mode is a it opens a text file it opens any kind of file in appending mode if the file does not exist then a new file is created and if the file exists the contents of the file are not destroyed the contents of the file are not flushed it appends whatever we want to write on the file it appends at the end of the file the next mode is r plus mode it opens a text file it opens any kind of file for reading and writing both it means that it cannot create a file it if the file does not exist it it will not create a file the next mode is w plus mode it opens a file for reading and writing both if the file it does not exist then it creates the file and uh, if the file exists it truncates the file to zero length it means that it removes the file all things from the file and brings the cursor to the first position of the file the next mode is a plus it opens a file for reading and writing both it creates the file if the file does not exist and uh, the reading for start for the beginning but the writing can only be appended it means that it does not erase all the contents of the file but it can read all the content from the file and when you want to write in the file it brings the cursor to the end of the file and then you can write in the file now we'll move to code and understand that how the file are created and how the file are closed and how do we write and read different modes in files so here what i have done let me explain you this we have created a file pointer to open a file or to close a file or to write and read in a file you need the file pointer so for creating an integer pointer we have learned that the data type should be int for creating a character pointer or floating point pointer or a double pointer the data type of the file pointer the data type of the pointer should be that but here we want to create a file pointer so the data type is file this data type works only with the file pointer so we have created a file pointer fp then we have opened the file like this it should be done like this file pointer without the star sign is equal to f open it is used for opening the file the first thing the first it takes two arguments the first argument is the name of the file and the type of the file the test.txt that a text with a txt extension and in the read mode now what we have said about the read mode that it opens a file existing it opens the existing file for reading purposes if the file does not exist it will throw a null pointer it will not open the file so we have handled this exception over here that if fp is equal to equal to null printf file does not exist here you can see that in it it is it will be create the file in the same folder where our code is placed so we have placed our code here you can see that the file is already i have created this file test.txt hello is written in this file and now i will run this program and uh, this there is no 
error or nothing and file does not exist print because the file already exists in this program we have just opened the file we haven't read anything from the file and we haven't read we haven't write anything in the file we just open the file in the read mode so now let's, let me just delete the file this test.txt from here and uh, let me just compile it and run it see you can see that it prints file does not exist it means it confirms that R mode does not creates the file if it does not exist is just open the file in the read mode now we'll try that W mode I'll just compile it and uh, run it you can see that now file does not exist print and uh, when we look into the folder this test.txt uh, with nothing written in the file is, has been created and uh, what about the d w mode we have already said that it opens the file text file for writing if it does not exist then a new file is created we have just seen it and if it existed it remove all the contents of the file and bring the cursor to the first position of the file so let me just open this file and i'm writing hello in this file and uh, saving it and uh, i'll just close it and uh, run this program again with the w mode just compile it so file is created because file does not exist is not printed and let me just open this file you can see that all the contents of the file has been erased because uh, we have used the w mode and w mode erases all the contents of the file and bring the cursor to the first position of the file now let us use this a mode what this mode says open a text file for writing in a pending mode a pending mid mode it does not delete the contents of the file and uh, it brings you the cursor to the end of the file for writing and it if the file does not exist then a new file is created so let me just test the first thing i write something in the file and open this file in the a mode and uh, can just run it file is open because we do not see any error file does not exist and let me just open it again you can see that hello is still written in the file so it does not remove the contents of the file and uh, now uh, I'll delete this file and check that the whether the file is created or not we just compile it the file is opening at the back end in every mode you cannot see the file opening but it's opening in the stream so here the file has been created because file does not exist has not been printed let me just check it see file is created with the nothing is written in the file because a new file is created so now we'll check the next mode r plus now what r plus may would say is open the text file for reading and writing both means that uh, uh, we'll just uh, delete the file and uh, confirm it r plus see it says file does not exist it means that r plus also same as of r it does not create the file if the file does not exist so we'll just create a file over here again and the file is created and uh, let me just write the things over here and uh, open this and let's compile it and run it now there is no error and uh, we'll just compile it you can see that it does not remove the contents of the file and hello is still written in the file we'll do this by w plus mode so what w plus mode says w plus mode says open the text file for reading and writing both it first truncate the file to zero length and it means that it remove all the contents same as w if there is something written in the file and uh, if it exists otherwise if the file does not exist it creates the file so let me just delete the file and check that it creates the file or not just compile it and run it no error there is and uh, the file has been created with nothing written in the file i'll just close the file and uh, now we'll write something in the file and open it in w plus mode we'll just close it and uh, if there is no error we'll just check it see everything from the file has been flushed has been removed because w plus removes the file contents and brings the cursor to the first position now we'll try the next mode which is a plus 
uh, it says that it opens a text it opens the file for reading and writing both and it creates the file if it does not exist so let me just remove the file content file and uh, check that it creates the file see there is no error and let me just check this folder see here is the file created with nothing written the file the new file is created and uh, what it says next line the next line the reading will start from the beginning but writing can only be appended writing can only be appended means it does not remove the contents of the file I just save the hello written in the file you can see that hello is written in the file and I'll just compile it and uh, run it see there is no error and uh, we'll just check the folder see hello is still written so we can in the a plus mode we can read and write the file now let me just check it that uh, we'll create a file in the w mode because r and r does not create a file and we'll open that doc kind of file so let us uh, just see that the either this file it creates or not so there is no error and uh, let me just check this thing T either see you can see that test.doc is created a new file is created so by this means you can we confirm that it can create any of the file and uh, while practicing this, this you need to make sure that do not open any kind of file in the file you have written some important data in the right mode because when you open the file in the right mode it uh, destroyed all the contents of their file so this video is all about the basic introduction of files you have learned here file modes how to open a file and now we learn that how to close a file we can close a file by using f close function and uh, we can just write here fp so just compile it and run it this is how you close a file so by open f open and for closing f close there are different modes of file r w w plus R plus A and A plus and in the next video we'll learn that how to read from the file how to write in the file thank you